And I'm down to catch your body, bitch. My punches make you stiff. And I bet you want my roundhouse kick, so make your body twitch. But if I hit you with that bat flip kick, I bet his body flip. If I hit you with the x ray shit, I bet I break your shit. Ah! <sighs> Yeah, Team Coffee. Versus Looking good. I haven't seen the guy since the last volume, but yeah, good luck. I mean, we all know they're gonna lose, but still good luck. Love the outfit, kid. I'll try not to get blood on it. Ooh! I can't promise you'll be without a scratch. I won't be the one bleeding. Oh, I like uh, her. Okay. Three, I like two, her too. One, begin. Not so much the green hair. I could do without that, but mm. they look so sinister. Yeah. She definitely fit the description with my perfect girl. I mean, come on. My perfect girl would definitely carry a machine, uh, a death, a death machine. And literally try to kill everyone, though. Okay. Come on, Ripper, I to go. Look out! Ah! And now, I'm trying to think who Mercury reminds me of, and I believe it's, um, uh, something, I can't remember that, uh, guy's name, he's from Tekken? Uh, High Long, or How Long, something. Oh, shit. Okay, that was nice. Yeah, like, for real, though. You got some sweet ass tits, man. I ain't gonna even lie. Goddamn, goddamn! 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 Woo! You see? Even though Crawl is my new number one, Mercury is still number two of my favorite male characters because, you know, this is why. Woo! Then that do remind me of, because I was watching the League of Legends, and uh, that one guy was like, the Mafia! That's what that guy reminds me of. I don't know, that's Brandon who came up. My bad. Dude, you almost got the shit burned. No, I'm, I'm working so hard, man. He's just killing me. Not to mention Green Girl just using the Scorpion move. <gasps> the shades. I don't like her. Yeah. We can understand why. This girl using Kryptonite bullets over here. Like she's fighting Superman. Okay. Damn. Coco. Watch out. She's in the trees. Oh, and with that final blow, Yatsuhashi is eliminated. What? Can Mercury shapeshift? Damn. Oh, maybe. Oh, she's all by herself. God damn, they were defeated fast. And with an amazing upset, Emerald and Mercury are victorious. They, they barely got any hits in. I'm with you. What the fuck? That was kind of embarrassing. I going even lie. You're leaving? Yes. I was merely needed to oversee the transport of additional units to Vale. Our last shipment was lost to an ambush. I believe you had a run in with its cargo, actually. It's fortunate those paladins were still in the prototype stage. Otherwise, your team may not have fared so well. Weiss, you've done well out here on your own. No, I wasn't. Proud. 
I'm glad you're actually having a sister bond. It kind of makes you look like less of a bitch. The day you left for Beacon. I can't wait to show him what I've learned. Oh? Then what do you think you've learned? What do you mean? I'm getting better and better with my glyphs. I've even started time dilation. And what of your summoning? I... You know I can't... Still working on that? Don't be ridiculous. Every Shni has the ability to summon. We have for generations. I've tried! It's just... It's the one thing I'm having trouble with. We Shnees are unique. Unlike many, our semblance is hereditary. But that doesn't mean that... Well, that would explain the white hair, I assume. <laughs> the more you practice uh, let me stop. That wasn't even come. funny. Come on, get it together, man. Of it. If you fail to test the limits of what you think is possible... <sighs> Does it have to be a snow monster, though? Come on, Elsa! Else. Stop it! <laughs> You're nothing but talk, kid. You can do it, Ruby! Sorry, Ninja. Yo, yeah, look at her playing this rip-off Mortal Kombat. And by the way, don't ever call me old. Yeah, he's not old. I think he's like 30-something, yeah, maybe? Where was I? You were telling us about your last mission! Right, right. I come across a small village in the swamps west of Mistral. Right off the bat, I knew something wasn't right. What were you doing there? I needed information. Tired from battling Grimm along the way, I decided to start my search at the town's inn. The place was crawling with lowlifes and thugs, even a few huntsmen that I could only assume had been hired by less than reputable people for less than respectable jobs. Mm. And that's when it happened. What happened? I was defeated by the mere sight of the innkeeper's skirt length. Uh, thank you, Crow. No, no, yay. He is the best. Best two out of three. So, Uncle Crow, did you get in trouble with Ozpin? Nah, uh, me and Oz go way back. We're cool. <laughs> cool for an old guy. Not funny. Hey, so what are you doing here anyway? I thought Dad said you'd be away on a mission for like ever. Well, a professional huntsman like myself is expected to get results as soon as possible. Yeah, I get that. <laughs> We're pretty much pros, too. Oh, really? Psst. Yeah, read the news sometime. We totally say Vale while you were gone. Funny, because I heard Vale suffered a grim attack after you almost managed to stop a train. Damn! That is true! But they don't give out medals for almost. Damn! <laughs> Well, we helped take down Roman Torchwick. He's locked up in Ironwood ship and crimes been down ever since. That's basically a bounty mission. Sure, you may be acting like huntresses, but you're not thinking like one. You really think four girls and their friends could end all crime in the kingdom? Wow. I mean, I did until you said that. Violence hasn't dropped since Roman got nabbed. It stopped. Completely. No White Fang activity anywhere around the city. You cut off the head of a King Taijitu, but now the second head's calling the shots. That's what Ironwood can't get through that thick metal head of his. You know the general? Hey, I know everybody to some extent. Remember, you're talking to a member of the coolest team to ever graduate Beacon. Yeah, so we finally get that picture. <sighs> team Stark. Oh, that's what they were called, Team Stark. We were pretty well known back in the day. Well known for crummy fashion sense. Hey, we looked good. And I have a number of Yeah, they still look good. That'll back that up. But I'll save those. Yeah, you know your mother yang? Or anyway, I'm too old to be hanging out with a bunch of kids. Movies, Mom? I, I don't I honestly still fuzzy about that. Look. Just I think it might be Yang's mother, but it doesn't really matter. And don't think for a second that graduating means you're done. Every day out there is worth a week in this place. So it's basically the head ball time chamber? <laughs> <Only if you laughs> Let me stop! If you never mm. stop moving forward. I don't stop moving forward. I keep going. That's what real niggas do. Excellent form. Now think to your fallen foes. The ones that forced you to push yourself past who you were. 
and become who you are now. Think of them and watch as they come to your side. Stop God damn! I'm trying! If this is what you call trying, then you have no hope of winning the tournament, let alone succeeding as a huntress. Why don't you just move back home? I'm sure father will give you a nice job as a receptionist. Ooh, that one stung. But you do need his money, don't you? What? Ooh. what Lucky guess. I may have been in a similar situation when I joined the military. So what have you done this time? Well... That's the thing. I'm really not sure. I went to pay for lunch the other day, but my card didn't work. How embarrassing. I know! I know! Goddamn, goddamn! Well, it was. Why would he cut me off like that? Perhaps so you'd stop avoiding him and call home. True! Every time he calls her, she always hits the ignore the button. Emotions can grant you strength, but you must never let them overpower you. It sounds to me like you have two choices in front of you. You can either call him, beg for his money back, and explain once more why you want to study at Beacon over Atlas. Goddamn. Or you could continue to explore Remnant, discovering more about the world and, honestly, more about yourself. <laughs> it's time for me to go. <laughs> It was really good to see you, Winter. I know, Winter. Until next time. Don't be a stranger, huh? <laughs> but damn, baby girl, you can always come through. Ah! Anyway, that's the end right there, guys. And as, you know, as I always say, I'll catch you in the next one. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, wait, no, wait. Should I talk about the episode? Yeah, okay, good episode. Good episode, though. And it seems like each of the girls are getting individualized, a little bit of training to help them further their skills and stuff in this uh, next upcoming battles. And uh, I'm really glad that they uh, made Winter have the sisterly bond to take away from her bitchy attitude from episode three. So hey, that was good. See you guys later. Peace.